Ja, dear Ellen, dear Ingrid, dear ladies, some gentlemen, I welcome you to the Women uh, Energized Women Conference personally and in my capacity as the president of the German Renewable Energy Federation and one of the implementers of the Women Energy uh, a woman energized woman um, campaign. It's my great pleasure uh, to welcome you here to the first Women Energize Women Conference in Munich, which aims at informing and connecting women from the energy sector worldwide. And I'm happy that the conference is a project of the Federal Ministry of Economics and Climate Protection and is being carried out by the German Society for International Cooperation. Two strong partners and strong women here um, who help us and who stand for the empowerment of women in the energy sector. The need for an accelerated energy transition could not be any greater and evident due to the climate crisis as well as the supply and cost crisis of fossil energies that we are witness, witnessing today. Therefore, we have to connect the framework condition for the energy transition with strategies to promote all talents and for especially to promote gender diversity and gender justice. And until today, gender diversity is widely missing in the energy sector, as we see here uh, every day, too. In order to achieve the global energy system transformation towards 100% renewable energy, all talents and all their forms must be included to drive the innovation. And in short, more women are needed for efficient environmental protection and an ambitious and just energy transition. To share women in the energy sector has always been very low, too low, and even more so at the top of the corporate sector. This is not surprising since women are also underrepresented in almost all other sectors of the economy, especially at the higher management and sea level. Women must be perceived with all their qualifications, capacities, and abil abilities, is irrespective of potential future life plans, as is the case today with regard, with regard to men. Women are comp competent leaders who bring technical understanding and great expertise to the table, while at the same time being oriented towards the common good and providing social comp competency, competencies as well as empathy and aiming at creative solution. It is time for better and more enabling framework conditions to finally not only talk about, but actually guarantee equal rights, equal income, and equal career opportunities. It is true, the share of women is all, it still is also Oh, oh, sorry, also is still low in the renewable energy sector, but according to a PVC study, the growth is significantly higher than in the energy industry as a whole. In the press conference, I mentioned that uh, in our experience uh, in, in Germany, the uh, decentralizing and the democratizing of the energy sector is, is key for participation of women because they can start uh, on the communal level as a project leader with some people and engaging together and um, be part of the system. But this needs a clear regulation frame like the Renewable Energy Act uh, in Germany or when I see Christine Linz, the Renewable uh, Energy Act in, in Austria too, that uh, enables people to, to deal with the renewable uh, energies um, and to get incentives for these uh, technologies. The future development and the necess necessary strong growth of the renewable energy sector will depend to a large extent on women from all disciplines working together to promote and actively facilitate, facilitate and implement the energy revolution. Networks like the Global Women's Network for the Energy Transition or Women of New Energies in Germany, of which I feel very honored to have accepted the patronage are the clear signals and proof that women of the industry need an increase and increasingly have strong voice uh, and had that uh, mutual encouragement and support are core factors for gender equality also in the renewable energy sector. It is time 
to raise the visibility of women in the energy sector and to lead by example. There's a need for these impressive women all over the world to show that they have a voice, that women can and must play a central role in advancing the energy revolution and sustainable economic models in general for acceptance and active support for renewable energies. And of course, for climate protection as well as for the preservation of our great planet. Thank you very much and I wish you all have a great and rewarding conference, Women Energize Women. I promise it is not the first conference. We go on. We hope that you are engaged in your countries to promote this project, Women Energize Women. We have to build a huge networking and to build up this. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the conference and I wish you a nice day. Thank you very much.